So if you are in the market looking to buy a dash camera and specifically if you're looking for a Philips dash cam because you trust the brand name of Philips and the reliability the brand brings in, you have two different options. The Philips 3001 1080p Full HD camera and the Philips 5101 2K 1600p camera. So both these cameras offer kind of a good footage and of course for the price they come in, the 3001 comes at a price of about 5999, that's 6000 rupees and the 5101 comes at a price of about 899, that's 9000 rupees. So there are certain differences between these cameras but most importantly what matters is the difference between the video quality. So if you're someone who is confused between these two models and wants to make the correct purchase decision, you've just arrived at the right video. So in this video, I'm going to show you a direct video quality comparison between both the models of the Philips Dashcam and even show you the number plate readability in both day and night conditions. So by the time you finish watching this video, you will have the complete knowledge and the proper idea to make that correct purchase decision. So before you watch the rest of this video, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and smash that like button. You're watching Travel Tech. Let's get started. So straight away starting the comparison during daytime on top you find the Philips Go Shure 5101 and on the bottom you find the Go Shure 3001 dash camera. So in terms of the 5101 you can see that this provides a resolution of 2560 into 1600p at 30 frames per second with a 16000 kbps bitrate and a 128 MB per minute of file size. Now the overall video quality does look much better in terms of sharpness because of the higher resolution in the 5101. Even in terms of the contrast levels, I think the 5101 does outclass the 3001 by a slight margin. Not that the 3001 is bad, of course it comes at a lesser price at a 1080p resolution, but the 5101 with a 1600p resolution does seem to offer a much better video quality, a much better video footage sharpness and contrast levels, which I would definitely prefer if I am buying a dash camera at the price bracket of around 7 to 8000 rupees. So moving on to the nighttime video footage, so even in this terms you can see that the 3001 does seem to give you a mild whitewash look whereas in terms of the 5101 you can see a better contrast appearance. Of course as said previously the sharpness and even the contrast levels do look better in the 5101. So overall in terms of the number plate readability as well, I think the Gosure 5101 does have a slight advantage over the 3001. But nevertheless, both cameras overall at first instance don't look much different. The difference is quite marginal, quite minimal and you can only observe the difference if you have some sort of an eagle eye over the kind of video footage you are seeing right now. But preferably in my personal opinion, I would definitely go with the Gosure 5101 if you directly compare it with the 3001 model. Both in terms of the daytime and the nighttime video quality, the higher resolution and the higher pixel count does offer an advantage over the kind of video quality you would expect from this dash camera. Moving on to the nighttime number plate readability. So as you can see right now on top is the 5101 and on the bottom is the 3001 model. So in this sample, the vehicle in front is under the glare of headlights and is about a distance of 15 feet or so. So if you just zoom in to take a look at the number plate read, a pretty much whitewashed look in the 3001 model, but a much better and a readable number plate in the 5101 model. So in spite of the fact that both the cameras don't get a Star Wars 2 sensor within them, the 5101 does seem to offer a much better number plate readability, mainly due to the higher resolution and the Star Wars IMX335 sensor, the previous gen Sony Star Wars sensor. This definitely shows you the kind of advantage the Sony Star Wars sensor brings to the table when coupled with the highest possible resolutions. Moving on to another sample, so in this specific example, there is no headlights because I specifically turned it off just to show you the kind of difference it makes in terms of the number plate read. So if you just zoom in to take a look at the number plate read, so as you can see in terms of the 5101 with the Starvis IMX335 sensor and a 1600p resolution, the number plate read is kind of crisp, sharp, better contrast and much better saturation levels. In terms of the 3001, still a very good read considering this is only a full HD dash cam, that's a 1080p dash cam. I mean, when you compare it with a 1600p camera, it might look a bit dull, but overall the 1080p camera is performing optimally right up to its point, And this is the best kind of footage the 1080p camera can provide for you. But when the question of comparison comes in, the 5101 with the 1600p resolution 
does offer a higher advantage. So moving on to the daytime number plate readability. So even in this example, the car in front is about a distance of 10 to 15 feet away. And if we zoom in to take a look at its number plate, a more sharper and an image with a slightly better contrast is given by the 5101 camera. And the 3001 with its 1080p resolution is performing optimally right up to the maximum point it can perform. So in both cameras, the number plate readability is pretty good during daytime and you cannot go wrong with this. So for the price difference of 3000 rupees, the 5101 is kind of performing as expected and even the lower price 3001 at a price of about 5999 that's 6000 rupees is performing optimally well for the kind of price this camera comes at. So for the additional price of about 3000 rupees, the 5101 model does offer some quality improvements over its predecessor. I mean, you get a 3-inch display, you get a Starvis IMX335 sensor, and you get a 1600p 2K resolution. I mean, these are kind of important features when you're looking for a dash cam, and the 5101 does simply offer it. So unless you have a very tight budget, I would definitely recommend going with the Philips Gosure 5101 when you directly compare it with a 3001 model. So no matter which of these two dash cams you intend to buy, the purchase links are given in the description below. Just head down, click on the description, go ahead, click on the link and purchase the dash cam right away. If you have any doubts or queries regarding this dash cam, write that down in the comments. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And of course, if this video has helped you out in making that correct purchase decision, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and smash that like button. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Facebook, Insta and the WhatsApp page. The links to those are given in the description as well. That's it. This was the video for today. Many more interesting videos coming up in the future. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.